yeah so yesterday we created the client right so far we created the client and in the client so logical system we created so basically we are discussing about the the client administration we are discussing right client administration in the client administration we are discussing about the client creation we have discussed how to create the client and what we required to create the client which means logical systems are required logical systems are required to create the client here so logical systems are required that we created yesterday the client creations the logical systems we created yesterday right so apart from that so then how to log into the newly created client then how to log into the newly created client so how to log into the newly created client how to so log into the so newly created client so you have created the new client then how to log in then how to log in then so to log into the newly created client so we have to change the one parameter you have to change the one parameter so that is called the so one parameter so you have to change it here means system configuration you have to change it here in the system configuration you have to change the one parameter you have to change it here so so the same concept we will get the now pro, profiles and profiles and parameter administration topic will come in between okay profile and parameters administration part will come so what is mean by profiles and parameter administrations so in sap by default you will get the default configurations right by default you will get the configurations so by default you will get the default configurations so you want to change based upon your business needs based upon the current situation you need to change the your values suppose you have to change the some parameters you have to change it so how to do that one how to perform the in sap why because during the sap during the installations during the system build you will get the sap basic configuration you will get you want to change how to do that one. why because now your business is different it is increasing day to day activity the, the business is getting increased as part of the day to day your business is getting increased then how to do that one how to do that one in this case you need to so you need to go to the rz10 or rz11 they are the two transaction codes here you have to go to the rz10 and rz11 to change the the parameter to change the parameters in the profiles we have to use the rz10 and rz11 so these parameters will refer will 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 tell you so what is the current configuration from which configuration to which configuration we have to change in the that we should know right the parameter value available so that value we have to change it here right in sap we have by default <coughs> we have the two types of profiles are available two types of profiles in the two types of profiles in that so one is the default profile one is the default profile default related parameters all will contain the default profile next one is the instance profile next one is the instance profile instance profile right instance profile instance profile is available instances we have the two instances will be created right one is the ascs instance second one is the second one is the so one is the ascs and the second one is the application server related profile right ascs and application pass pass related profiles so one is the ascs and the second one is the application server maybe if you have the additional application servers you will get the additional application server related parameters also you will get it also right so here all the default settings are available in the default profile default which means so what are the default like default sid in client number all are the default so all the default settings are available in the default profile so instance specific so instance specific means acs related message server and queue server related settings are available in the in this profile in this profile so application server related profile available in the in this 
profile in this available. So where can I see this profile and change it here? You need to log into the one of your system, maybe development or quality system. You have to log into the system, right? Once you log in, so there we have to change the configuration. We have to change the configuration. Go to system, <coughs> right? Go to the system. Client not available in the system. So what does it mean? Someone deleted what? Okay, go to the so SCC4 and see what's there here. So someone deleted the main client itself. Someone uh, in the master client they have deleted. Master client. Who is doing? It's there up to up to few minutes back. It's there. Or oh, Tamshul. Mistakenly, you have deleted. So, why you are practicing before the transaction codes here? Yeah. So, means uh, you have to practice whatever I said, you have to practice it, right? That is the main thing. Okay, no problem. We'll recover it. No problem. We'll recover that one. So, don't worry. So that's why we should not do any business things in the in these clients. If you do something, it will be corrupted. Okay, it will be corrupted. All the data will be corrupted here. Okay, so I created. So let me see here. So the thing is, <clears throat> you have not deleted the data. Thing is, you just deleted the entry from the SEC for you deleted. Just you, you deleted the entry. It's not like that you have deleted everything from the system. There is a transaction code. So just you deleted the entry. Entry means, so no one will log in. That is also one of the major things. So if you delete the entry, so no one will log in. See here, if you delete it, <clears throat> all these users will be affected all the data over there in the system all will be deleted here so that they cannot log into the, this client so by luckily you have not deleted the data just deleted the entry right that is the main thing you have done it okay go to the rz10 is the transaction code okay so you can go to the profile before going to the profile just import the profiles right just import the profiles from the voice level While installing uh, 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 application, it will come automatically. No? These profiles will come automatically. So better some of our people are changing the OS level and SAP level, right? To sync OS level and SAP level, I'm changing. I have changed. I imported the profile here. See here. Here we have the types of profiles. Two types of profiles: default and instance profile. In the instance profile, we have the again ACS related profile and application servers related, we have the two application servers. So two application servers related profiles are available. If I open the default one, go to the extended maintenance, you click on the display button. Here you can see default to profile means, so you can see the all are the default related, your host name, type. So this one, all are there here, all are there here. <clears throat> so these are the default one. So normally only default settings related things we will change it here right so instance instance deleted go to the here select the instance suppose you want to change the zero to instance number related click on the change button here we can change it here suppose you want to change the so btc related suppose i want to increase the my work process four to suppose six why because dialogue will be six i want to increase the my btc to so four then you can change it here like that we have to change the configuration you have to change the configurations you have to change it here 
right click on the copy <clears throat> after you changes the profile parameter just click on the copy here then go back again save okay save then you will get the everything will go back then you have to activate it okay copy copy save activate so like that you need to activate the profile so that the change will be affected the change will be affected so the change will be affected but the thing is here the thing is here you need to restart the system otherwise the parameter value it won't be affected you need to restart the system to to change these values you need to restart the system otherwise now we changed the work process number to 426 and uh, so 224 or something like that we have exchanged right so for six six the six dialogues we changed it here here four we mentioned it is it changed immediately no so why mean so we have after you changes in the object 10 <coughs> you need to restart the system you need to restart the system then only the value will be affected here then only the value will be affected when you changes here so in the rj10 rj10 you have to if you change the profile parameters in the rj10 you need to restart the system that's why rj10 are called the static profile static profile rj10 contains the static parameters so which means static parameters right static parameters so in the static parameters if you change it here you need to <coughs> you need to restart the you need to restart the system you need to restart the system to affect the changes to affect the changes you need to restart the system suppose if you change the same thing in the rz11 rz11 also same thing if you change the parameter these are the dynamic dynamic parameter so here you no need to no need to change the parameter here here you no need to change the any param you need to you no need to restart the system you no need to dynamic parameter you no need to restart the system you no need to restart the system it's a dynamic why because it's a dynamic but it's a temporary changes only temporary changes only but these are the permanent changes these are the permanent changes object changes are the permanent but you have to restart the system to affect those permanent changes rz11 is the dynamic changes you no need to restart it but the changes are the only temporary so temporary changes only so not the all the parameters are static not all the parameters are dynamic parameters so only few are dynamic parameter the value will be affected immediately so few are if the values are not affecting immediately definitely you need to do the restarts those are the static parameters so restart is required here to perform these changes and everything the restart is required here that is what we have to do in the as part of the profile parameter changes so why we are discussing this concept parameter changes and everything you are in the client administration so why we are discussing about the profiles and parameter changes here so the reason for this one is like so <clears throat> whenever you created the new client you created the new client you created you want to log into the newly created client there is a one parameter you have to change it login slash no underscore automatic user sap star equals to zero you have to change the parameter value to zero then only the users can log into the newly created client with what is the user with sap star and pass is the password so any newly created client you cannot log in immediately after the creation so in rj10 you need to change the one this parameter value you have to put to the zero then only you can log in with then only you can log in with so sap star with pass you can log in with sap star with pass then only you can log in with sap star with pass you can log in right so this is the thing we have to do it in the systems okay this is the thing you have to do it in the systems got it so this is the what we have to do in the system <clears throat> that is the reason to discuss this value you, you so you will be confusion right 
So way to change it, how to change it. In the system, if you want to change any profiles or parameters, you have to go to the RZ10 and RZ11 are the transaction code, you can change it. So we have changed it in the RZ10, fine. What about the RZ11, right? RZ11, if you go to the RZ11, then just you can just enter the parameter value here. So login slash no automatic SAP star, the parameter value, right? So if the, that is the one, so let's see here. Here, if you go to the here, here you can see the current value is zero. The current value is zero, which means if it's the zero, then SAP star with pass is allowed. Pass is the one of the password for the newly created client, pass. So that is allowed, that is allowed. So if you don't put, that is not allowed. If you don't put, that is not allowed. So if it is the one, you are you are not allowed to log in with, so automatic login of the SAP star password. If you put zero, that is allowed. That is the main of, uh, value of that parameter. Here you cannot change it here, right? Because you don't have any change value. So which means this is not the dynamic parameter. So you have to go to the RZ10, you have to go to the RZ10, go to the profile, maybe go to the profile, default profile or whatever the profile, right? So just to go to the <coughs> profile, just click on the change button, then see this value should be so zero. This value should be zero. This value should be zero. We have to put it out. Already zero. Again, I'm changing to the zero here. Once you change it here, copy, right? Go back. Copy. Two times you need to do the copy. Copy, copy. Go back. Save. Okay. Activate. Done. The profile is saved and activated. So like that, we have to change the profile value and you need to do the restart. Restart, we have to perform it. We have to do the restart. We have to go to the system and MMC, right click and restart it. So that the value, whatever the changes you have done it, the value will be affected. The value will be affected in the systems. So that is the so profile parameter. So any newly created client, suppose you created the one of the client, 100 clients you created right? 100 clients you created. You want to log into the systems, then how can we log in? Why? Because you don't know, just you created the client, not the data. So not the user. How can we log in now? Why? Because each client user management is different. Each client users are different. So that, but in that case, you have the users in the 30001. How can I log into the newly created client? In this class, you need to change the profile parameter value to zero restart the system then you are allowed to log in with the any newly created client which means suppose if you see you know so parameter value just to double click on the development system here okay so newly created client. suppose 100 client we created just sap star the pass is the password, P-A-S-S. -S. Just click OK button. Now see, we logged into the systems. Here, we don't have any users also. In SE01, we don't have any users in SE01 here. We don't have any users here. We don't have any users in the systems here. No values found, which means we don't have any users. Then how can I log in with SAP star with the pass? Why? Because in the previous screen, you have changed the profile parameter value to zero, which means SAP star with pass is allowed here to log into the systems. So like that, we have to change it, restart the system. Then you can log in with the 100 client. I logged in with the 100 client with the new SAP star. I logged into the 100 client here, right? This is the way we have to change the profiles and parameter values. We have to change it here in the systems, right? So after that, so you can just execute it. After that, you can execute it, right? What you execute it? But there is no data in the hundred client, right? As of now, you have created the data in the triple zero double zero one. You have created, but there is no data. Then how can I proceed further here? So how can I proceed further? Maybe you have to create the data again. Whatever you have done activities in the 
last few weeks same way we have to do it in the 100 client also which means the newly created client also you have to you have to change it here you have to do that one so it's again time taking right is there any possibility to copy the data from suppose i downloaded the one movie my friend also required the same movie then i can just copy the movie to just if he, he copy the movie then you can watch the same movie, right? Again, downloading, it will create the same, again, it will take the some time, right? So here also, SAP introduced the one concept is called the client copies, client copies, which means if you have data already exist in the, any one of the client, either the triple zero or double zero one client, then you can perform the copy to, <coughs> you can perform the copy to, other clients, you can perform the data copy, you can perform it. That is called the client copies. This concept is called the client copies. Copy the data from other client to target client is called the client copies. That is called the copying the data from other client to so other client to this copy is called the so client copy. That is what we have to do in the system. Okay. So client copy. So the next topic is like client copy. Why? Because we need to, for the newly created client, we know how to log in. We need to change the parameter, not the every time. One time, if you change it, it will affect to the all the clients. It's not like that. When you create the 200 client, again, you don't need to change it. So this parameter values are system-wide parameter values, system-wide values. These are the system-wide. So that when you change it here, system-wide parameters, when you change it, <coughs> automatically it will be reflected to the automatically it will be reflected to the other clients also so parameters and everything so if you change it any client you can change it but thing is it will be affected to the all the clients the parameter values which are changing in the rj10 rj11 your main important thing is you need to remember what is mean by rj10 and rj11 what is the difference between the rj10 and rj11 which 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 one is the permanent and which one is the dynamic which one is the static and which one is the so dynamic here which one is the permanent which one is the temporary here when you change the parameter rj10 do you need to restart the system or not so now will you guys answer these questions what is where to change the profile parameters in the system rj10 sir okay and we need restart in RZ10. If we change the parameter, yeah. if it is changed the parameter, then it, we need to restart. Yeah. Then how can I know whether the parameter is static or dynamic? If you go to the RZ11, if you put the any parameter, maybe GW underscore is gateway related parameter. If you are getting the change value, then this is the dynamic parameter. This is the dynamic parameter. If you change, if you just get change to the zero, click on the okay button, this is get changeable, which means <coughs> this is changes are the not permanent. See here, these changes are the not permanent changes. When you do changes in the RZ11, will be restart, will be lost after the restart, right? So this will be lost. So which is this only temporary only, temporary changes when you are doing the from the RZ11. So same parameter if I do in the, rj10 the time is restart is required here the time restart is required go to the <coughs> same parameter go to the instance profile at standard maintenance click on the change button so if the parameter is not exist here what you have to do here sorry it is a parameter is then directly it's a table directly i can go ahead and i can change it but my parameter is not exist here just click on the create button if you don't know parameter name also just only you know one word just go to the search bar here search bar right search bar you can go to the search bar here so that you will get the uh, list of parameters which are currently exist in your system all the parameter values you will get from here right so in that parameter <coughs> just search so login slash you remember only login slash just see in the login slash how many parameters are there here Right, you can see in the login slash how many password length. All these are the parameters. Parameter name, minimum length of the password, password length, password characters. 
So control of the SAP logon password, right? It's the zero. Now, if you want to change it to the one, you can change it to the one. Now you are not allowed to log in here. Now you are, you are not allowed to log in here. Then we need to change it to the zero, right? We have to change it to the zero here, right? Just click on the copy, go back, okay? Copy, go back, then save and activate, right? It is activated so that the parameter value activated in the system. So that if you restart it, that the value will be affected. If you restart it, that value will be affected here. So either if we restart it, the value will be affected. The restart value will be affected. So that is the reason RZ10 changes are the permanent changes. So RZ11 is the temporary. So it's very temporary changes, not the permanent changes, RZ11. So not the all the parameters are temporary. So if you see some parameters are static, some parameters are dynamic. It's hard to remember. It's hard to identify. But just if you go to the here, if you put this parameter value here, if you are only getting the display value, this is a static parameter. Then you need to change it to the, so you need to go to the so object 10 SAP level, any client, then you need to change it here. Suppose if you put any parameter, so like a GW ACL mode, you will get the change mode. If you are getting the change mode, means this is a dynamic parameter, which means dynamically also we can change it here. Dynamically also we can change it here. So like this, we can just change the values. We can change the values of the systems. We can change it here. We can change the values of the systems. We can change in the system that is possible. That we can change it here in the systems, right? That is the <coughs> concept of the, the profiles and the parameters concept. That is the concept of the profiles and the parameter concept. Right? That is the concept of the profiles and the parameter concept here. Okay. Is profiles so, are specific to clients or is it specific to the complete system? Complete system. Complete system. Oh. Complete system. So, Okay. Now you logged into the newly created client, but how can I get the data then? How can I copy the data? Will it be possible to copy the data from other client to your, your client? Yes, it's possible. Suppose you created in your system. Which one? Sorry. Copying, copying data from SCCL T code. Yeah, yeah. From that from is, existing right 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 excellent <clears throat> yeah so you have by default two clients triple zero double zero one client you created the one new client you created that is called the one new client you created that is called the hundred client right hundred client you created so you have the triple zero and you have the so double zero one and you have the hundred client you have the hundred client also exists in the system so you created the new client, but they, 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 this client does not have any data here. Then how can I copy the data? I need data. I need data to this client. I need data to from 0001 to 001. I need data. So how can I? Why? Because as of now, I created the users. Hundreds of users created it. data changes. I have done it. But that is the client specific. Everything is available in the 000. How can I get the, those data? Here, SAP introduced the client copy mechanism client copy tools client copy tools we can use it client copies right client copies we can use it so they are the total three types of client copies let's start discussing about the local client copy okay remote client copy and the client exports and import method these are the three methods, three ways, three client copies are available here. All right, three methods are available. So one is the local client copy. Local client copy means within the system, within the system, within the same system, copying the data from one client to other client. Within the system, copying the data from one client to other client is called the local client copy. Okay. Locally, you are copying the data from one client to other client. That is called the 
local client copy. Here you need to use the SCCL transaction code. Maybe I will give the one more example here. Within the Hyderabad city, you want to transfer the data from so one place, maybe LB Nagar to Miyapur or somewhere that is called the local transfer, right? That is why it's a local client copy, right? Within the system only, one client to another client, not the between two systems. That is the remote client copy. So now let's talk about the only local client copy. Local client copy means locally you are transferring the data from one client to another client. It's called the local client copy. Okay, got it? This is the local client copy. How to do that one? Using the SCCL transaction code, we have to copy the data. Log into the 100 client. Okay, just execute the SCCL in the transaction code. Okay, is locked for the data import. Which means here in the when you are creating the client here under client, some settings are wrongly you have given here, right? Some settings are you have given the very wrongly, which means so it should be open status. So and also here in the client copy, no restrictions we have to put here. No restrictions here. Okay. No restrictions we have to give it here under the client. So that is what we have done it. That is what we have done the changes in the systems click on the ok button so here not from so we are unable to change it go to the double zero one rz10 not rz10 sec4 right? because while creating the client itself so we have changed the client settings here data locked here here i locked the data See here, this is also one example here. So I opened the one transaction code there. When I open in the transaction code, it's not allowing here. It's not allowing me to do the changes here. Data locked by the user. So which means here in other screen from 100 client. So I have created the something. I have done it here. I have opened the SCC code. So that is the reason it's saying that the data is locked here. Right? Click on OK button. Click on the 100 client. So maybe, so what is the changes? You have to do the changes here. Just click on the save button here, right? The data was saved here, right? Which means in the 100 client, so I can do the changes here. Go to the 100 client here. What is your 100 client? This is 100 client. Go to the SCCL is the transaction code here. Then target client is the 100 client. So what is the source client here? So what is the source? Means what is the source client? From which client you want to pull the data? I want to pull the data from double zero one, right? Selected here. Then which data? Which data I want to select it here? In SAP, data is segregated as profiles, client copy profiles. These are the client copy profiles. Suppose you want all the data from the source client, you have to choose the SAP underscore all. I want only customization. You can select the customization. You want only user master records, just to only select the user master records, select it, then click on the schedule as a background job. So we can also run it as a dialog mode, schedule immediately dialog mode, foreground mode, but the screen will be freezed when you schedule it here. How about example? So here, if you schedule it here from here, see here, I'm scheduling the job here, then one background job will be executed so that I can do anything in the back end. Suppose like, one client copy I have scheduled here, right? Maybe I can open the other screen and I can do the transactions, right? Here client copy is running in the back end as a background job. Go to the SM37, go to the SM37 and see so whether my client copy is running or not. See here, my client copy is running from 001 to 100 client, my client copy is running here. My client copy is running here. See here, this is a small profile which is getting running to the your so triple double zero one to 100 client which is active status here so where can i check the client copy logs here so local client copy we can perform using the sccl and client copy logs we can see in the scc3 which means client copy logs we can check here Client copy logs we can check here okay so this is the client copy logs. SCC3, go to the SCC3, 
then check the all the client copy locks you can check from here right just to go to the here then check whether the client copy related locks are happening yes it's processing so what is the profile sap underscore user which means all the users related tables so total how many 103 tables related data is copying to the your source client to target client 100 client is copying the data so it is copying the data we have the option is and copy mean locally copying the data from one client to another client right so local client copy so what data suppose some some customers they don't want to copy the all the data all the data they don't want to copy the all the data in that case they can we have the data is segregated as a profile which means yeah, i want only users data then users sap underscore user you can select it i want all the data sap underscore all i want so only customization then sap underscore cost you can select it so this is the way we have to choose it here see here this is completed i guess read so client copy is completed so 103 tables copied right it is completed how much time it's taken we have hardly three minutes yeah hardly three minutes is taken to perform the data so what data we received from the triple double zero one client so if you see go to the so users all the users whatever the users are there in the so in the double zero one previously we don't have any users here if you go to the here we have the all the users are there here if you just click on the ok button we see 13 entries found here which means all users whoever there in the other client all the users we have received here all the users we received here even my name my two users sudhir so nagababu so ranjit mamata all these users they have they have they have entered to the they are, they are in the now 100 client they are in the 100 clients now all these users okay all these users are in the 100 clients now same as like in the double zero one they are in the 100 clients now now i can log in now client data copied here means same user same passwords are available here now what i can do here i can log in with <coughs> i can log in with the same 100 client i can log in here with the same user maybe basis user so then same password i can log in here i can log in now see i'm getting logging to the system now previously only sap star is allowed now sap apart from that sap star all along with the sap star are remaining users are allowed will i create the data manually no how i created just to copy the data from other client to this client i have copied i went to the scl transaction code then select the data which data you want to select it so select the data which data you want to do so select the data so suppose i want only users then select the users data some from which client to which client so from triple zero to here or this one to then where we have to create it which client data you require to the hundred client so if you if you copy from suppose like triple 500 500 if there is no data then if you are copying to the hundred client hundred client also there is no data there is a chance to delete the existing data also why because existing data will be deleted first then the new data which is there in the 500 client that data will be copied to the here right so that is the local client copy which means within the city within the hyderabad transferring the data from so vanasthalipuram or so miyapur to so mia from here to there you have to transfer the data that is called the local client copy that is called the local client copy okay so copying the data from from here to here is called the local client copy got it so within the system suppose same same suppose if i take the one more example same i have here i have the one video is there here i want to copy this video from in the c drive here to my downloads i want to copy it here that is called the local that is called the local client copy got it so here types of profiles are there here when you are copying the data why because all the customers they don't require the all the data that is the reason they have segregated the data suppose you want only users then you can select this profile you want only customization data you can select this profile 
you want all the data all data from customers they require the all the data then you can select the sap underscore all we can select it here sap underscore all we can select it here this is the way we need to to copy the data from one client to another client got it any questions confusion yes uh, sir while uh, performing client copy like uh, how to decide about the parallel processing whether it's one two three four so five, uh, like uh, it depends it depends upon the it depends upon the parallel processing right that is very helpful for the during the remote client yeah. procedures so yeah, exactly yeah maybe it's a number of process which are available in the system suppose you have less process then don't choose the this one we have the many dialogue process then you can choose the to parallel process either two or three or three or three or four or three just you can choose it parallel process it depends upon the how many work process are free here that many you have to choose it here that things you have to choose it here okay it depends like number of process which are free in the current systems Okay. Okay, got it. Understand everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. So any questions? Yes, so what you can do here today, you can perform the all this one. You can perform the so all these client copies you can perform it local client copy client creations login to the newly created client so all these things you can practice it today okay just you can practice it today so that tomorrow we can discuss about the remote client copy some other client copies also available this is the within the system suppose i want to do outside of the system i want to remote client copy i want to take it from the outside in this case what option i need to choose it here so what is the what option I need to choose it. So that we will discuss. So first of all, you perform the this one. Sir. Yes. In SCCL, SCCL petty code, we need to select that uh, test run ch check box, test that, and run check. That is not required. That is like, suppose in the SCCL, test run is for the, if you want to test it, you don't want to copy the data. Just want to test how much time it is taking. So suppose if you test it, it will give the results time. Time means how much time it will take it here. So you want to copy the data copy also, just you want to check the, so only resource check, which means, so test copy, the test will be performed two ways. One is the simulation mode and resource check. Simulation mode is here, the data will be copied, all the data will be read, but not saved into the database level. But the resource check is here, data will just counted. Without reading, data will be counted. Immediately it will count it, it will give the information, how much time it will take to copy the data. Sometimes your manager or client may ask you, right? So how much time it will take to copy the data? Then you just can run it in the test mode so that you will see the resource check and simulation mode. Means data will be copied, it not read so data will be readed, it's not copied, something like that. You have the options, you can see here. If you run in the simulation mode, data is read, but not saved in the database level. It will read the data, but it will not be saved into the database level. So data only counted without being read. So data will be counted, how much data, even, then it will be counted. So that is the information that is will happen in the here. See here, it is counting. Now I, I executed in the dialog mode, it is getting counted. See, it is getting counted. So now you, here you will get the information. How much time? Runtime second? 54 seconds. What is the data? We copied here 83, 83 maybe 88 MB, I guess. So how many tables? 103 tables. So all the information, when, when what time it is started and what time it is finished. So all the information we got it here. So this is the test mode, just running in the test mode here to get the how much time it will take and everything here. To just test mode means data will not be copied, just testing. 
how much day time it will take to copy the data. That is the test mode. Uh, sir. Right? Uh, sir, yesterday is uh, that kernel related issue. Yeah. Yesterday, uh, 